Hey guys, I managed to get the queue running, started anyway, give it a bit of a run, have a look, listen, tell me what you reckon in the comments, and then I'll get back to you as soon as I've uh, completed the demonstration. So there you go, the Q45 is alive once again. It hasn't been running for about four months. I had to change a few things around and I got held up with other stuff, obviously. Oh, what's that? What's this? Oh, isn't that supposed to be on the Q45? Oh, okay. Anyway, so the car's running. It's not making boost yet. I've got most of the dump pipe sorted. I still need to extend it and I'm, I'm going to have it blasting out the front of the right hand side wheel. I need to relocate the radiator. The radiator has to come back because I've got to put thermos on the inside of the engine, on the engine side of the radiator. So I'm going to have to relocate that at some stage. I need to relocate the battery to the boot. I need to relocate what else do I need to relocate? Nothing. No, I don't need to relocate anything. Uh, besides what I told you. I need to uh, run the intercooler plumbing, drill some holes, all that sort of stuff. Take the left guard off. The left guard's got to come off because I need to drill a hole so that I can run a little 90 degree bend to put the airflow meter in for now because I don't want to run the airflow meter in between the intercooler plumbing. Uh, ooh, I'm just trying to keep you sort of up to date with everything. Four pound spring in my wastegate. Uh, that's a little bit close, but I guess it'll do for now. It's a bit close to the to that front wheel. Um, the housing has to be clocked so that I can run the intercooler plumbing properly, um, which means I'll need to unfortunately take the turbo off again which is not a massive job anyway. I'm going to leave all the lines on. I'll just crack, crack the four bolts, lift it up, turn it around. I should, I, I should have actually looked at that before, but anyway. So I need to do that. And I've got some brackets. Where are they? 
for the inner cooler. I just need to run a few welds on those, paint them up, and then, yeah, make, making progress anyway. Um, I've had a few good tips from people on the um, VH45 web um, gr group on Facebook. And a lot of those guys have advised me to run 15W50 Penrite, like a racing type of oil, which I will do. I also intend to run a separate oil line and um, so oil feed, oil return and pump system for the turbo because it's a GT45 Chinese turbo. I'm not really fussed about it. I've got, you know, I've got a spare one here. However, the VH45 is not very easy to come by in Australia nowadays. So I'd rather destroy a turbo than destroy the motor. Anyway, I'll put you over to the other guy that comes on here sometimes um, with the blue glasses. He looks the same as me. Um, so I don't know if you've... One more thing, actually, before I put, put you over onto him. I've changed the channel to Lockdown Performance. Uh, I've changed the intro and a couple of other things as well. So, uh, yeah, I, d I don't think it was going too well with the other sort of channel name because I think there's a few censorship issues possibly or uh, yeah it just doesn't go anywhere I guess it, it's catching but maybe maybe no good for YouTube anyway let's go check out the guy with the blue glasses anyway guys have a good one thanks for joining and I'll talk to you in the next episode Yes.